it's about realizing that the reason that this peg on the day let's say is a good peg is because the fish live here so no amount of you sort of piling your feeder in one spot is going to make them change their mind or where they want to live do you know what i mean yeah of course you know we've got to we've got to react to the fact that the fish want to you know the fish want to um, and, and, and you know what as i said um at the start of this of, of this video it's all right drawing on the fish but you've got to be fishing in the right place at the right time yeah you, absolutely. you could have spent all day fishing to your right slightly and you could have been probably 10 meters away from those fish and never even never even had a bite all day absolutely you could, you could have sat there imagine a windy day rob we wouldn't even be able to see indications of fish no you wouldn't know so if the wind was on the water blowing down this way there is no way you would see no fish have actually jumped out I mean, we're assuming that that is carp there. It could be bream, well, but I, I'm so, pretty yeah. confident it's going to. Be, that's what it would be. But do these fish, you know, it's flat calm. Do they want to actually feed tight across? I mean, on a recent match here, um, when there was a few carp caught, there was none caught down the middle. They were caught across. But on the match the week before, all the fish were caught down the middle. Yeah. So you don't know where they're no, going to be. Know. You know, we've got to... We've got to try and find that out or work on that as quick as we possibly can. So that's why I felt I didn't want to go to back to the guys and, and basically I'm actually kind of happy because if it had okay. just gone round, yeah, it would have been like... We're fishing in real time. This yeah. is what happens on a session, isn't it? So Absolutely. We, we need to show this. This, Absolutely. Is the, this is the thinking that we go through. So talking about that, what? how long are you going to leave this cast? This is going to be another 10 minute cast, is it? At the moment, it's all about 10 minutes because I believe 10 minutes is enough time to show me what's going on. Now, if it gets to a point, Rob, where we're kind of like, hang on a minute, we've got, we've chucked in like 10 different places, we might just have to start being a little bit more patient and mm -hmm. going, no, we need to be really, really patient to see if we can get a pull. I, I you know, obviously at some point we'll be, going across but i don't want to do that too early for me honestly across is at, at least at least two hours in before i'm going to cast there i want i mean this is a, a different fisher to a, a lot of places that that this is a well this well known here that you catch a lot of fish in open water don't you so yeah on another venue that's slightly more enclosed well maybe you will be starting closer to the far bank or, or if there's an yeah. island involved yeah you're probably casting this opening cast would probably be, be five six meters off the island yeah but what you're not doing is going to the extreme of your peg straight away are you that's that that is the rule really. that's, that's the that's, that's what we're the talking that's about. the fundamental of what we're trying to get across to the guys at home isn't it i'm hoping we get one on this cast so it proves everything at least a few liners from bigger fish that's yeah. what i'm hoping just to give us a bit of confidence that those those bubbles are from, from yeah bigger but, fish. but like i said to you like i said to you before right the goal of today is is we've drawn in an area where we think the carp are how are we going to figure out how to catch them as a team we've we've explaining our thought process it doesn't mean it's going to work well if all those fish are across on the reeds today then then we're going to have to fish across yeah, there of course, yeah. you know it's not a you know if you remember the day um a brilliant example rob we did a film at the glebe like oh Yes, carp. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but I, that's a carp. It feels surely. carpy. It's either yeah. a carp or a decent, decent skimmer. I think it's. Breed. I think it's one of them where I fish a silverfish match. I think, oh, I've got a skimmer, and then it would turn it into a carp. But mm, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, it's a decent fish anyway, and it sh shows new yeah. area of the swim. Yeah, closer to where those fish were were feeding. That's a carp. It's isn't a carp. It? Yeah, yeah, it's a carp. Yeah. Yes. Now we're talking. So what I was going to say was, and we were just talking about our match at the Glebe, at our session at the Glebe last year, where we fished bomb and bread, and we we nicked a couple of fish from the middle, and we were really happy with what we caught from the middle, but the the majority the of the honey fish hole were across, was across, across yeah. exactly. Whereas today, and today might be the same. I'm really happy that's gone round. We've got four minutes on the clock yeah. right now. Proves so. your theory as well that when you're on them, you know you're not waiting long for a bite. You're not you? waiting long for a bite. No, absolutely. After a very steady start, it's uh, it's been a bit feisty now. Yeah, nice. But, yeah. Some huge fishing here, isn't there? Some I had big a, fish, I had yeah. A beautiful ghost. You know, last year when I, I I won that feeder masters 
uh, qualifier. Yeah, you had a massive ghost, didn't you? I had a huge ghost. He was 20, yeah. weren't he? he was, I think he was 20 pound four or yeah, 21 pound. Yeah, big fish, that is. Big He's fish, He's a beautiful that fish as well. Well, yeah. an old fish. He's yeah. been through the wars. I, but... My first 20 pound carp came out of here. Um, I caught it on the pole down the edge. Really? Yeah, on a feature once that, you know, 20 pound carp aren't common, are they? You know, it's... No, not on match venues. No, not um, on match venues. And, but... to, and to catch them on, you know, it proves... I know it's really, we've moved on massively since then, but the gear that we're using isn't exactly no. special gear, is it? No, I've got 016 yeah. on to a 16. It's not a, It's not heavy. I'm, I'm not going to rush. I'm yeah. just going to take my time. And and obviously we're, we're match anglers, but I always cringe a little bit when you see carpet carpers and they're sitting behind sort of like really heavy gear, stiff rods, and they're, they're catching smaller fish than, than what we catch quite often. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those that... We, we, you and I both know if you're on a shoulder feeding fish, it doesn't always make a big difference. But I think when you're fishing for one-off opportunist fish, I think it does make a difference, mate. You know. So you're playing this fish. I can hear you, your drag going. Yeah. Oh, what well, is he's, 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 he's not a small one. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you drag going. Are you yeah. a backwinder and a drag, or just just drag? I'm an out. I'm a. I'm drag, Rob. I've always. So you don't use the backwinder. No, I'm not. It's not something that. I tell you what, I've had a few goes at trying to use it and, I, and I've struggled with it, but I think that's because all my life I was, I, I was brought up using a drag. So because of that, I've got so much confidence in it that when I started to use a backwind, I didn't quite understand it properly. And I'm sure, okay. if I, if I'm sure if I spent a lot of time, it would be fine. I mean, that's a good fish. Isn't it funny that when I picked that up, I thought, is that a skip? <laughs> is that a skip? <laughs> yeah, when I saw that, it was like two or three big like, head nods, wasn't there? Yeah, there was, thought, yeah. that's got to be a decent fish, that is. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, like I said, 016, it's not mega strong gear. I'm not going to... I could easily, like... I've given that the extra tug that yeah, I felt it they, needed, but you take your time, and especially with your first fish, you've got to make sure your first fish ends up in the net. You've got to make sure it's in the net. You got like, him like that. Oh. He is a big one, he is. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, he's a big fish. for sure. What a start, well done, mate. I'm going to bring it round to the side. That is an absolutely huge carp. Which was <laughs> <laughs> that fish. He's got to be, what is it, 15, 18 pounds? He, he's 15, 18 pounds. Yeah. He's absolutely massive, he I mean, is. This is what we're talking about. We don't need many fish today. We don't need many fish at all. So if we catch sort of six or eight fish, that's the target. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we catch if we catch four fish like that, that's a beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> that is a but massive that, fish. Yeah, you're right. Six or eight of those and, God. You know that's going to win nearly every match on a commercial fishery, absolutely i'm right in the bottom lip rob which i'm really happy about he's obviously had our expander there size 16 you know that the the hook was good i'll just bring him around are we, are we going to be able to hold him up i don't yeah we'll hold, we'll him, up put, we'll later, hold him up later over a mat because uh, he's such a massive a fish warrior, but that is a, he's a big old his mouth's in good nick yeah, but he's a yeah, big he is a heavy fish 